Canva AI text to image generator full tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the text to image AI image generator that is provided by Canva. Now, this is not a feature that is pushed a lot, so a lot of people don't even know that it actually does exist, and it's a really helpful tool. You don't have to go into any third-party platforms to be able to generate images. You can do all of that in Canva. Plus, it has amazing tools and integrations that can help you in enhancing your AI-based art. So, let's get into how you can find that, how you can edit it, and much more. So for this, all you need is your Canva account. Just log into Canva and you get 50 free credits and generating one prompt is going to cost you one credit. And then after that, after your first initial 50 free credits, you can upgrade to Canva Pro to get access to more credits. Now I'm going to choose a custom size. So let's say I want to build a 30 by 30 inch design and that's a pretty big design. So we're just going to create that over here. Now, once I have created that, I am going to find the text to image generator. So a lot of people don't realize where this is placed. So this is placed in apps on the bottom left. And then you're just going to search for magic media. Just search for magic media in your app section in the left panel. And then on the top, this is going to be your first result. And this is it. So this is the application by Canva. From here, you can generate images as well as video. This is still in beta testing, but it does have the capability to generate video for you. So let's say I can try an example and then I have multiple different styles I can pick out from. You also have the aspect ratio and you guys can see you can try one of their example prompts. You can try a particular type of style. Now, let's say I want to build a really pretty scenery with loads of flowers in mystic of fantasy world covered in trees and the art style i'm going for is dreamy and i'm going to keep the aspect ratio at square and now i'm just going to click on generate image over here and it takes one credit to generate four images. So it's going to take your prompt and generate four different images from your prompt. So we're going to wait for that. Now you guys can see it has generated our images. It's just generating the final one. And then we can just open these images up. So it's just processing all of these images. This is one of the images it has generated. This is another one. And then there's this one, there's this one. All four of these are pretty similar. Now, all of these are a bit too dark, so I can ask it to make them in the morning. So, you know, to add more sunlight. And then I can also choose, you know, a different style as well. And there are a bunch of different styles. So you have fine art styles, a stained glass style. So let's try it out with a stained glass style this time. And the same type of prompt in a different style can totally change the appearance of your image now if you want a very unique style i always recommend to keep the image style at none or to describe the image style in your prompt if you don't want a super characterized image style because now when i select stained glass it's going to provide me you know very specific images so if you want something that's super basic and it's going to not have like a very distinctive style in a sense that it feels like a filter then leave it at none and just provide your style that you want in the form of your prompt so keep the style artistic and colorful like this and now we're going to generate the same images with this particular prompt so you guys can see now this is a very interesting image and now this is not following any particular type of art style so these are a bit different these look pretty unique as well i really like all of these and then you can just go on ahead and add them to your frame if you're not certain which one you want you can just add multiple different pages to your file so you can just click on add page add page and add another page to be able to save all of your images i really like all of these honestly but i really do like the first one it looks really neat and it's really nuanced 
Now, with the same thing, you can do it in the form of video. Now, one thing I would recommend is not to make your video overly complicated. So, a beautiful spring rose in a garden in the new style of professional cinematography, natural lighting. So, in this, I will describe the style in the style of fantasy world, natural light, like this, magical. I'll also include the keyword magical. And then I will click on generate a video over here and video generation can take slightly longer. So we're going to have to be a bit patient for the video to be generated. In the meanwhile, I'm just going to fix up some of these images that we have generated. Now, if you want like a very particular image, always add it in your description, always add it in the text. So if you're looking for a checkered pattern, if you're building patterns, if you're looking for a particular flower, or if you want a particular type of tree or plant to be included, always mention that in the prompt. Plus, you can also mention negatives in the prompt. By negatives, I mean those things that you don't want to include. So if you don't want to include banana leaves, you don't want any banana trees or cacti in the images so you can always mention that in the prompt and that can help the ai based generator to understand what you want and to build accurately adding your negatives is super important when you're doing a lot of work with this kind of learning model ai because if you don't and you're looking for specific items or specific types of images it can be difficult to find exactly what you want without having any kind of pre-existing base or pre-existing knowledge of the prompt you want one thing i always recommend is to go on to chat gpt or any other ai model and just ask it to elaborate upon your idea now what this will do is that it will provide you with a more detailed prompt so as we have waited our video has been generated so this is our video a bit slow right now this is a little bit of a pen it's not really that dynamic yet but it's all right you know it is still in beta so i'll give it that but once we have generated all our images we can further edit them we can go into edit photo on the top left add filters effects and a whole lot more on our images as well so I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if there's anything else you'd like to know or anything else that you might want to add to this video, leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.